Hello everyone, this is Joseph K. Welcome back to more Let's Play Tales of the Abyss 1, 100%. In the last part, we upgraded our Albior as high as we can possibly get it in this game. And now, we're going to put that to use in a couple places in this video. First off, I want to say, since last time, I uh, off-screen, I went back and played some poker... I also went and did, uh, I went to all the search points that I have, and I am now sitting at over a million poker chips. I think I can actually check that. Maybe, I don't know. I might actually have to show you guys in person. Uh, da, 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 da. No, it doesn't. It doesn't tell me how much, uh, how many poker chips I had. <clears throat> That's fine. I can make a pit stop at Ketterberg later. But we have over a million right now. Now I think you need four million nine hundred thirty thousand or four million nine hundred eighty thousand chips to buy everything we need to complete our items collector book. Don't quote me, though. But I'm still in Castedonia because this is right next to where we need to be. So you remember when we started that quest for the cats earlier? They want these animals, and we've got to bring back proof that these animals exist. These animals are actually truly enemies. Well, let's go get another one right now. Now, we're not going to be able to get the final one on this playthrough. Sadly, but we actually might be able to, but I'm not going to. Reason being, I want to have a second playthrough of this game where I, uh, oh, I'm going to murder my cat. One second. Just want to clear the air. I did not actually go and murder my cat. She's walking in front of me at my feet right now. She literally just threw up on my, like, coat. And that is not cool. Anyways, whatever. Same old, same old. We want to make our way into a sandstorm over here. And then just land the sandstorm. Now we are looking for our enemy, and it's going to be very, very apparent. But it's going to be very apparent and very evident what enemy we're looking for. I'm actually going to go ahead and use a holy bow because the one thing about this enemy is it doesn't appear to be affected by holy bottles. At least I don't think it is. But I don't want to cut out a bunch of freaking battles because these idiotic enemies... There it is. <laughs> it's the Sandworm, our second enemy of the three enemies we gotta kill for Tyr to get a title for her. As you see, it's weak against water, resistant to that stuff. Uh, it You can't steal anything from it. However, you will get this item called a uh, uh, Gay Bulg, I think? And I think it's a spear you can theoretically give to Jade if you wanted to. But yeah. It's not hard. Especially if you've been, uh... Especially if you did a lot of fights we were going to get the, uh... The refined flights, though. It's not a hard enemy to fight.
And look, that's almost dead. See? Not even an issue yet. The gay bulk. I think it's how you pronounce that. It might be J-Bulk. It could be Gee bulk I have no idea how that word's pronounced. But yeah, that was that was easy. It's I, I guess you would call it an optional boss. And I'm actually surprised we found it as quick as we did. Uh, when I was actually trying to take notes on this thing, it took me a long time to find that stupid enemy. But now that we got that, let's head to the Orchid Cavern. Now that we got Mew Fire, we could do uh, an upgrade at Mew Fire. We could do some new stuff in there. And we can also do some new things in there now that we have the refined flight stone. And y'all, I can't believe that it's going to be Thanksgiving very soon. We are nine days away from Thanksgiving and it's hard for me to believe. Of course, it'll be eight days when you guys get this video. But we have this mirror stone stuff. We're going to have to play Reflectory again. I don't know if you can get something if you do that. I don't think you can actually reflect that so you can hit that. Anyways, I'm wasting time. I'm going to show you something that I don't think very many people have shown in this game. On top of that, it's not something that I've seen in any of the guides I was using in preparation for this. So what you want to do is you want to position yourself just so. So that you are able to hit the switch to that elevator. Except we want to ride it all the way to the top. There we go come up here we get this treasure and it's a carmine chamber let's come in here and get more stuff yeah i don't i the let's play i was watching i don't think did this i could be wrong because the let's play for this i basically had playing in the background at work while i did my job because I had already played to this point. So maybe we saw this. But anyways you come up here. You get a we get some Mew Easter eggs. Get some Cheagle Easter eggs right there. This is of course. On top of where we had the scene. Where we discovered. That's where the data we found. About to try to replicate an entire continent. And we get a Cobalt Chamber there. But that is it. Now. We want to enter the Orchid Cavern again, but from a different location. Uh, go back down. We want to go down one more. But yeah, I was looking at that, actually. Uh, I think I might have been doing it in the video, where I was like looking at that, and I'm like... Surely I can get up there, because it says, like, the elevator is stuck and it won't budge or whatever. And it's like, there's a switch. Oh, it's that reflect, it's that mirror wall, it's that mirror stone stuff that can be reflected. Well, let's try it out. So I don't know if too many Let's Plays have shown that. If they did, well, then you probably already know about it. If they have it, then I just showed you something that you don't know. Down. We want to go to the other side of this peninsula. I'm sorry, not the other side of the peninsula. We want to go to the side of the peninsula. Then we want to lower ourselves down. And we want to head roughly in this direction. Nope, not enough, not enough. We got to 
We gotta back up a little more. This one's a little bit difficult to get to. Because of how much you have to back up. That should be good. Watch the little thing on the bat on the right. And as long as you get that, you can enter the other entrance of Portion Cavern. And Mew Fire is going to come in handy again. Start by hitting that switch. Turn the conveyor belt off. You can fight this. It's an enemy we've already seen, though. You know, it's occurred to me that I actually have not put myself back on hard. I think you guys got to hit that again. Oh, right, we want to ricochet it off of this. And hit the switch over there, that's right. Now we can go over here. I'm going to try to do this without looking at my notes. I'm going to try to do this without my notes. I think that was actually said when I was getting into battle. But we don't need two healers now. Let's put uh, the uh, Anis back in. All right, now we want to come over here and hit this ricochet off of that to hit that switch. And then, just like a crane machine at an arcade, you get a secret treasure. Except you have a 100% chance of getting this treasure, not so much at the arcade. And we get a specific. Now, those enemies we fought during the Engave events... Apparently, we're supposed to see some of those enemies in here, but, um, I've never seen them. So, I don't know what to tell you. But anyways, come over here, let's get a scene. Oh. It's a Cheagle. He's trapped. This is most likely this work. He seemed to be using Cheagles quite frequently in his experiments. He must have been trapped here this whole time. We have to save him. Yes, let's find a way to rescue him. Not hard. But before he rescues Cheagles, let's go ahead and uh, open up these, bot these uh, treasure chests and get ourselves a nectar bottle. And a wing bottle. I don't know what a nectar bottle does. <coughs> oh! Prevents magical elements for one minute during battle. That's kind of lame. We're never going to use that. But this is an easy one. Hit that switch. The Chico comes out. And disappears. Now we want to hit this one, and we got to use that reflection. All right, stand, I think, like, right here, roughly. Reflect that. Bada big, bada boom. You free that cheagle. I don't know if you can actually go to that side of the room or not. I don't think you can. I could be wrong, but I honestly don't think you can go there. One thing I will say, we're getting a hell of a lot of uh, combo from these. All right, now this one might take us a few tries, but you got to ricochet the uh, new fire off of that. Do that. I am surprised I've been getting pretty much all these on my first try. Alright. Actually, 
actually, I think you can go on that side. I just don't remember how to get there. Okay, Jade's done cooking. I don't even know how long he's been done cooking for, but let's now use, uh, Guy. Now, this was a slightly difficult one. But what you want to do is kind of, like, position yourself at the end of this, like, whatever this is. And then we free that one. Yeah, it looks like an arrow of some sort. So you just position yourself there and hit it off. I wish we didn't have all these battles, but unfortunately there's not much that can be done. All right, let's get these treasure chests real quick. Red chamomile and cowboy hat. And, huh, we got another cheagle over there, but, uh... Can he get out? Well, let's find out. open the cell, but he can't run away. We have to do something. Whatever shall we do? Well, come down here. Let's get a scene. Or let's not get a scene. What's this? It's a Fotec weapon. I've never seen one this huge before. I'm sure this is this work as well. Apparently he was studying more than just replicas. Colonel, this device. It's a replication device. Hmm. What is it? This replication device. Its power supply is connected to the Fotec weapon in the center. Is that bad? Not specifically, but it means if that weapon is activated, the replication device will start up as well. He must not have been able to take the power supply. Huh. I wanted to trigger the scene before this fight. I don't like the design of that. I find it very annoying that they decide to do it like that. But ha! Huh, we got a weird thing going on here. Well, let's examine this thing. Hey, this is the weapons activation device, right? Yeah, that's right. But I don't think it'll start up that easily. How come? The power supply is in charge. Let's see. The charger is... This looks like it. Isn't that a torch? It's a torch-shaped charging device. I've seen something like this like it before. I hate that it restarts, brings back all the enemies every time we do it. It's so stupid and annoying. Especially at this point in the game where all these enemies are basically cannon fodder for us. Like, we could probably put this on unknown difficulty and have hard, hardly any difficulties with this. All right, let me fight this stupid pain in the ass. So how do we make this work? Well, again, we got to do reflecting. So we want to hit it so that the torches all light up.
just like that. And then it busts a hole on the other side. And actually, we can go in over there. Uh, over there we can go. There's nowhere else. And when you do that, it activates a booby trap. Against a new enemy. Ogre, ogre replica. Nope, 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 nope. I didn't want an escape game. Bad game. Um, I don't think uh, these enemies have anything you can get from them. You need to scroll it up real quick while you're looking at their stats. No, they, they don't drop anything. You can't steal anything. Alright. We're almost done with this side quest. But there you go. These guys aren't hard. I mean, they can probably hit hard, but uh, overall, you should have a difficulty. Now, the thing that's interesting about these guys is when you defeat one, another one will come in on the screen. Until you get all six of them down. But you know what's lame about this? They really don't give you that much experience for fighting them. Hold up. I forgot to turn some of her arts off. Because the only thing Tear should be doing is... Banishing Sorrow. So I'll turn that off and turn that off. And that was easy. Now you don't have to fight them. You can run away and never worry about them again. But we can't get over there. I just don't remember how it's done. But I'm going to go ahead and try to save. Alright, good. We're, I'm going to save and I'll be right back. Fire! Oops, that activates it. I'm going to try to avoid some of these enemies. They're really not worth fighting. I know I say fight everything, but these enemies you can do without. And it is in my professional opinion with this game, not worth it. Now that we got all those Cheagles, we saved every Cheagle that's in this area. We need to go back to the Chica Woods. I wonder if we can actually hit the switch again. No, we can't. Okay. like a third entrance over here somewhere. But anyways, Chica Woods. And these enemies here are definitely not worth fighting again. Like, even if I had the access to the unknown mode, I could go through this area. But 
pip pop pippity pop. Don't have to worry about nothing. So, I'm just going to do my best to avoid every fight we can get in this game, in this area. I did deliberately fight enemies in here before, but I was also trying to, like, finish maxing out some of my uh, cooking. I would say probably go ahead and fight this thing, though. Oh, it's really not worth it, but they're just so fun to kill. But anyways, you want to come over here to the right. Remember I said remember this area for later? So position yourself so you can hit those uh, roots or whatever over there. That causes that tree to fall. And now we can go to this side. I guess you could do it for easy grade, because it really is easy grade. But anyways, come over here, open up this chest, and we get 10,000 gold. But that's not it, everybody. Come into this little hovel right here. And go ahead and open up this chest. We get 5,000 gold. Now let's go see a Chigal Elder. We are going to come to areas like this later in the game, though, where I can just get easy grade by fighting these things. Shit, I wanted to record a second episode, but I'm really tired. <sighs> Sorry, y'all yawning. But for rescuing all the Cheagles... You would imagine the Chigo Elder is going to be very happy with us. Let's talk to him. Mew, 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 mew. He says he wants to thank you for saving the Chigo from Orchard Cavern. Is he going to give us something? Mew, 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 mew. I wish to give you two of our most valuable treasures. Please take them. Hey, hey, we get the Holy Seal. And the Dark Seal. If I'm not mistaken, those items just give you the permanent effect of Holy or Dark. And I think with that, we are ready to go to Belkin. Next time on Let's Play Tales of the Abyss 100%, this is Joseph K. Signing out. Y'all have a great day and keep it real. Later.